and they're fancy friends, that's Oliver. And uh, today we will have a look at the straight thrust in tempo. So lesson one, exercise two, starts with the master uh, student exercises, which means that the master is feeding the student. And therefore, we used to stand upright um, because now the student in fencing position could aim at the higher chest instead of the mask of the master. Um, also, the um, teaching position um, helps to separate um, it from the fencing position in your mind because the master is the one always gets hit and you don't want to get hit or let you get hit in actual fencing. Exercise two is the straight thrust in tempo, uh, which is actually very hard to do in real bouting with light weapons, but um, it's the best way to train the simple straight thrust in a scenario. So the technique is simple, it's always a problem of the tempo. So, Julian, please go on guard. Um, you see, he is uh, on the fencing line and I take opposition on one side and in the moment when I change from one side to the other side, he takes the uh, bota dritta or straight thrust in the tempo of my disengagement. In theory, the um, thrust is very hard to parry because it's in the tempo of the master's action. But um, with foils, it's not that hard, but um, it gets harder when uh, you take heavier weapons. And whether the um, disengagement comes from the outside to the inside or inside to the outside, the bota dritta is always a uh, thrust in quarter, so palms up. So that's all for now. Um, next time we will have a look at uh, the different parries and thrusts in opposition. So see you in the next video.